Here we are at lesson 3-19, uh, the second video of the lesson, and we're going to start off with some horse questions. So the first three questions on your pass out, or story problems on your pass out about horses and a barn, we're going to use those first. Um, the first one is there were six horses in the barn, more horses came into the barn. There Now there are ten horses. How many horses came into the barn? So give me a second while I type it up, and then we'll discuss this. So when we look at this problem, six horses in the barn, more horses came into the barn, now there are ten horses. Now if we were to set up an equation, and the kind of equation this is, is this is a situation equation, because it is exactly what the situation is. So we, ha so we have six horses, and more horses came into the barn, so we're going to add, we don't know how many, so we're just going to add h, now there are ten horses. So Whatever our equation, whatever our answer is, it's going to be six plus six plus h equals ten. So then, if we want to figure that out, what plus six gives me ten? Well, if for in this is kind of one of those easier problems that we know. But if we don't, the way we simplify this problem is we have to get the variable on one side and the numbers on the other side. So what's the opposite of plus 6, of positive 6? Well, the opposite of positive 6 is subtract 6. So we sub subtract 6 from one side, we're going to subtract 6 from the other side, and what we're going to come up with, these are going to cancel, we're going to have h, and then 10 less 6 is 4. So the, the solution to this is 4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason we can do this is because of this right here, the equal sign. So no matter what, when we're working with this, whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, subtract 6, we have to do on the other side of the equal sign. And that's how we do it. If we do it on one side and forget to do it on the other, then we've just broken a math law and we can go to math jail. But to do it correctly, we have to, if we do it on one side of this equal sign, we have to do it on the other, equal, same as. So we do it on this side, we have to do it the same, we have to do the same on this side. All right, let's talk about, let's talk more about horses and barns. So um, we're going to need the next handout or the next cutout. So why don't you take some time, cut that out, glue it on, and I will type it up. All right, for some reason, for some reason this turned blue. Let's turn it black. There we go. Um, there were nine horses in the barn. Then some of them went out to pasture. Now there are four horses left in the barn. How many are out in the pasture? So now let's look at this problem here and let's think about, now again, this is going to, what we're going to write first is we're going to write a situation equation. So we're going to start with what it tells us. There are nine horses in the barn and some of them went out to the pasture. So uh, let's erase that and start over. That's horrible. So we have nine horses and some of them went out to the barn, out to the pasture, so that's our question mark. And now there are four left in the barn. And we have to figure out how many are out in the pasture. So this is our situation equation, because this is exactly what this problem says. Now we need to come with a solution. So our solution is we're going to take nine minus h and give n equals four is the same as 4. So 9 minus what will give us 4? Well, we can solve this by just saying, well, 9 minus 5, so h is equal to 5. Now, if we want, we can solve it algebraically. And this is the weird thing right here. Because we're subtracting h, we want to get the variables all on, on one side and the numbers on one side. So what we can do is what we would do here, and I would sub actually on this one, I would subtract. I would subtract. Uh, I would add h here, and I would subtract four, and add h, and I would need to subtract four because if I if I I want it everything positive, so this is going to cancel out, and this is going to cancel out, and pardon me while I just slide this over here. I'm going to get nine minus four because that's right here is the same as h. So h is the same as 5. Notice, same answer here as we got there. 
This is just the algebraic way to solve this. I want you to get used to seeing this because this is something we're going to see for the rest of the year, and it's something you, you are going to see the rest of your life. All right, the final problem we're going to talk about is, once again, about horses in a barn. So why don't you take some time, cut it out, and glue it in your notebook while I take some time and type it. There are some horses in the barn. Then three more horses came in. Now there are eight. How many horses were in the barn to start with? Now, to begin with, we are going to write what is called, again, a situation equation. And to do that, we're going to, excuse me, we're going to start with the number of horses in the barn. We don't know how many horses there are. And then we're going to add because three more came in. So we're going to add three, and now there are eight. So that's our situation equation. Okay? To solve a situation equation, what we're going to need is a solution equation. And a solution equation, and I don't know why I put an equal sign there, because we don't want an equal sign. Let's put a semicolon here. Okay? Our solution equation is going to be, well, we had 8 total, and we're going to subtract the 3 that came in, and that's going to be equal to h. Now, whether we put the h first or last, because if I put it first, it'll look like h is equal to the 8 total horses minus 3. Either way, I'm going to get the same answer. Okay? And this 8 minus 3 is going to give me 5. So h is equal to 5. Now, the important thing here, boys and girls, is that this is a situation. Let's put that in black here. Oops. Oops. This is a situation equation, and then this one here is the solution equation. Okay? And the solution equation is what we use to solve the situation equation. Don't worry if you don't understand it. The next video, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the same kind of same, three similar problems, three similar story problems with looking at both the situation and the solution.